guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please subscribe and leave a comment below i want to uh shout out b with the t and room for t for the information that i have and some pictures so let's just hop right into it sorry i haven't posted in a couple days i do be working and i do have a son that i have to take care of so yeah let's just jump right into this video we're gonna start off with ari fletcher and her baby daddy g herbo i guess he was out on vacation and he kept excuse me he will take plenty of different pictures of himself with different backgrounds and come to find out ari will also post pictures with the same background as her baby daddy so a lot of people speculated that they might be on vacation together they might be each other's sneaky link and also his baby mama his second baby mama i guess unfollow him again i guess every time ari and her baby daddy get together his new baby mama slash girlfriend unfollows him but we never know why she really unfollowed him so we're just gonna say allegedly for everything so let's move on to the next subject actually i have a few things else to say it was a couple comments that were also posted about these two and i'm just gonna um put them at the end of this picture so go stop and read them and um yeah let's just move into the next topic which is Joel and Lauren. So I guess supposedly they're supposed to be getting a divorce and Lauren just been going off. She was on live speaking about her and Joel's situation coming at um, his assistant because allegedly, well not allegedly, I guess it came out. Joel and his assistant um, is now seeing each other and speaking uh, to each other and a lot has actually just came out recently where I guess the assistant posted <clears throat> excuse me posted a lot of messages between her and Joel saying that uh, he wanted to be with her they should be together they're not going nowhere and nothing separating them or whatever she should be his next girl and i guess they're into it now because she's exposing him allegedly putting all this out there she went on live and um i'm gonna have the live at the end of all of this all the receipts and everything and i guess joelle went on live after lauren went on live and said that she's embarrassing herself she needs to just leave his name out of everything you know just move on with um her life he done moved on with his life even though they're still married we've been separated for months there's no point of me waiting to start messing with someone else so you know joelle just say you know forget all that i'm gonna go do me you go do you don't worry about me you know just go handle you which is understandable, you know? I mean, if y'all haven't been together for months and y'all don't see each other getting back together, and you know, might as well call it quits. And then, you know, he just keeps cheating. He just keep doing him. She just needs to go do her. And you know, that's all I really got to say about this situation. So we're gonna move on to the next and final topic, which is Meek. When she um, spoke about, she made a video speaking about questions that she be dodging from her followers. So she made a YouTube video explaining and answering questions that um, she never really wanted to answer. And Carmen was brought up in the video and also her alleged ex-best friend Kenya. Even though in the video, Meek, um, because the video was about Meek and, well, it wasn't about Meek and King. It was about all questions that anybody really had for her. So, actually, I'm going to start off with the Meek and King 
situation. Basically, all she had to say about King was, you know, she don't feel no type of way about him being in a new relationship or him having a baby with his new girl. Her and his new girl don't have no type of beef. They do speak um, cordially every time they see each other or in the same room, I guess. And um, the only thing she really had a, a problem with was, I guess, King stated that he never been in love with Neek out of the whole five years they was together and she was and she basically said if you can fake it for a whole five years then you know you basically just messed up my trust from there like you know how can you fake love somebody for five years and have a kid with that person you know I think my own opinion is cap I think it's all cap Come on now, you can't be with somebody five years and have a baby with them and not know. Because I would have been bit before the before the child. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like that was all cap. A lot of people feel like he's just trying to please his new relationship by downplaying his old relationship. And also saying the girl that he allegedly cheated on Nick with was never a relationship. That was just his friend and everything she also came out on live and spoke about it but you know you guys can go look that up and um go watch her live i'm pretty sure it's somewhere on youtube but yeah she just basically basically feels like there's no feelings towards the situation you know she just didn't like that you know he trying to downplay their relationship basically and they've been through so much you know they started they youtube together you know they had their beautiful son together you know they've been through a lot you know so i guess that was hard for her to hear but at the same time we all know it's cat straight cat but um let's also move on a little further down into her video she did bring up carmen and i guess a couple questions said would you ever be cool again with carmen Excuse me, that's my son in the background. But I guess it was a question stating, would you ever be cool with Carmen again? And she said, no. That kind of surprised me because I'm like, never. I really had hopes on them getting their friendship back together. But who knows? Only time would tell. And um, yeah, basically, there was also another question about Carmen. Would you, would Neek watch Carmen's documentary I guess about their situation or whatever else was going on so I guess she stated no there was no point and she basically just moved on and left it at that so you know we gonna move on and we gonna leave it at that you know what I'm saying you know <laughs> so let's uh, move on to the final and last topic which is still me just a little further down more in her video she um there was a question about her ex best friend or ex friend kenya she's also a youtuber i'm pretty sure y'all heard of her basically all she stated about kenya was um the reason they're not cool anymore or they're not beefing they're just not really talking anymore i guess or i don't know the reason for them not being cool allegedly is, I guess Kenya said something about Neek, and Neek basically just um, uh, blocked her. And from there on, I guess Kenya, feel, uh, Kenya, excuse me if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but if Kenya, I guess she felt some type of way about Neek blocking her. So I guess she also just kept ranting on about Neek, you know, I guess. They just ended their relationship. It wasn't um, too much said about their situation. Like they say, they're not beefing. They don't have no animosity towards each other. It just, it is what it is. She was talking about me and I blocked her. And that's, it just, it is what it is. So, I guess that is, that's it for this video. I'm going to have a couple things at the, um... For all three topics, for Ari, for Neek, and um, 
for um, Joella and Lauren at the end of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't mind the fumbling in the video. You know, I just, you know, I'm getting back to it, you know, or whatever. So just um, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share this video so I can get a bigger audience to view me. Please hit that notification bell so you always notify when I post a video and you never miss it. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.